Okay, so I've made this short video so you can see um, how to develop the strength around the knee joint. Now, if you are currently suffering with a bit of knee pain, chances are that the muscles around the knee joint aren't supporting the structure of the knee as well as they should be. So when you're exercising, going for a run, doing some squats, it's the joint that takes all the pressure rather than the muscles that should be getting recruited and doing their job sufficiently. So one of the main knee stabilizers is classed as what we call your VMO, which is your vastus medialis oblique. And it's the teardrop muscle that sits over the top of the knee joint. Now, if this doesn't stabilize properly, is what you'll find is during a squat, your knees will start to bend inwards or collapse inwards. So it's this muscle that we need to recruit and strengthen so that the, the alignment of the knee um, stays as strong as possible. And what it actually does, it, it stabilizes the knee joint by pulling it out slightly. Now, obviously, there's various other things that we need to take into consideration too, such as um, hip mobility and ankle alignment. But the VMO has been highly... Um, linked with knee pain in terms of it not being strong enough and not recruiting well enough. So I'm going to show you a few reps of what, I, um, what is known as the Peterson step up. Um, you'll see that I will go out of shot a little bit and you'll just focus on the step and you'll see the setup. Now um, it's a great exercise to do, very simple, you can do it on your bottom step at home as well. Um, and I'll just start you off with doing a set of 12 on each leg, even if you've just got one knee that's painful, do it on both sides because you want to have balance. Um, 12 reps, a little bit of rest, you can obviously go from right leg to left leg, but I'll start with two sets if you're starting just to watch this video now. So what you need to do is you need to place your foot on the step and then you need to turn your toe five degrees out, okay? From here, you are then going to stand and you're going to bring your opposite leg in line with the toe. So if you can't see because of the camera angle, what I've done is I've gone from being perfectly balanced to then having my heel in line with the toe. Now, as you can see, I'm obviously losing a little bit of balance already, and that's classed as proprioception in the ankle. So I'm working on my ankle stabilization already. So you can see that my toe is lifted up. So with my hands on my hips and my head up, I'm going to lower myself and allow this knee to come forward. The heel taps the floor and then I raise back up. That way, when I get to the floor, I can't push back off with my toe. So I slowly fall down, I tap my heel, and I push back up. Now the VMO is literally where my hand is now. So as I'm going down, it's loaded, I can feel it, I tap, and I come back up. And as I mentioned earlier, I was going to complete 12 reps there. Once you've done 12 reps on one leg, do 12 reps on the other, Repeat it twice, do it a few days a week, not too much because it is a muscle and it needs to have time to adapt, but you should find that it will start to strengthen up the VMO and therefore you will start to increase the stability around the knee joint and hopefully see some relief in the knee pain. Give it a go.